calculating the, diff, the, the, the tip differently in the case of a banquet than we are for a meal. So, let's look at this. Just look for a second at the layout file, like it was before, except we have a new view here. Oh, thanks. All of those things that are on here are views. They're going to create objects when this gets inflated, if you will. This particular one is a checkbox. All right, so we have an additional view that we haven't had in a previous example. Rest of the stuff is basically going to be the same, not much difference, except when we come to the meal and the banquet. Let's open up the meal and the banquet. I put in a hook for to go, even though I didn't do anything with it. All right. Tell you what. Looking at the time... I did make some other changes to meal. All right. We'll review those changes next time. What I want to do is I want to look at the banquet class. All right, real quick. We'll review what I did with the meal class next time. Let's look at the banquet class. The banquet class has this stuff in it, which are constructors, which are one of the things that we'll talk about next time. But, the only method we're overriding, really, is the calculate tip method. Why? Because everything else about a banquet is the same as a regular meal. Is there any difference between setting a cost for a banquet and a regular meal? No, you're just setting a cost. Is there any difference between calculating sales tax and, and all these things. No. The only difference that we define relevant to this problem is that you calculate the tip differently. So therefore, that's the only method that gets overridden. All right? And therefore, we really have a big gain for this because we have a second class all right, that we can use. And we only had to write one additional function, one new function. Why? Because everything else about it is the same. If you think about this, you know, you'll see examples about this all along. You know, at a college, there are students and then there are graduate students, all right? Graduate students get charged tuition just like undergrads do and so on and so forth, but there are a couple little differences between the two. So rather than having to create two classes, each of which have a whole bunch of stuff in them, you create a class that contains sort of what is true for all students, and then you create a class for the specialized kind of student, whether they be a graduate student or an international student or whatever. And in that class, you only put in the things that are different for that kind of student. So in this case, you'd only, in this case with, with banquet meal, you'd only put in the difference, um, which is the manner in which the tip is calculated. What we're going to look at next time will be the constructors that I've created. In the first example, we didn't use any constructors. All right? Actually, we did. We just didn't write them. All right? Next time, we will, re we will review how constructors work in Java. All right? Um, and we'll go from there. All right. We'll see you over in lab.